Machine A produces a sound pressure of 58 decibels and machine B produces a sound pressure of 52 decibels. What is the combined sound pressure? So this is an acoustics problem and we've got source A producing 58 decibels and source B producing 52 decibels. And technically to add two sound pressure levels, there's a pretty sophisticated formula that involves logarithms. It's not too much trouble to use, but it's not available in the reference handbook. You'd have to look in the MIRM for that equation or another source. And uh, I think that's a pretty good signal that the folks that select the questions uh, and design these tests are not looking for us to become experts on acoustics. If your specialty is thermal and fluid systems or HVAC and refrigeration, then um, you don't need to go too deep on acoustics. Acoustics is obviously a very deep field and um, people spend their entire career studying it. So for us, it would be a mistake to go into that level of detail. But fortunately, there's a very convenient shortcut and there's a table in the reference handbook, which you can find by searching combining two sound levels. And in that table, what we find out is how much we should add depending on the difference between the two sources. And I like to start with two extremes. And uh, let's suppose you had two sources where, I'll just make up some numbers here for general principles. If you had one source that was 70 decibels and another source that was 50 decibels, what's the combined pressure level? Well, when you turn on the second source that's only 50 decibels, you don't even hear it. You don't even notice the difference. So it adds effectively nothing. It's not a perceivable difference in the sound pressure level because it's so much quieter than the first. On the other hand, let's take a situation. So, so in that case, it's plus zero. <laughs> that's, that's what you do. But now let's imagine a case where they were equal, 70 decibels and 70 decibels. This is the other extreme, two equal sources. Then you add 3 dB. And this is all broken out in that table. So just search for combining two sound levels and take a look at the reference handbook. And then for something in between, you're either gonna add one or two depending on the range. And now we'll get to the specifics of this problem. This range is six, 58 minus 52 is six, and six is between five and nine. And according to that table, if the difference in sound pressure levels between five and nine, then we add one decibel. And just to be absolutely clear, we add one decibel to what? We add it to the higher of the two sources because that's the one you're gonna hear more anyway. So we're gonna do 58 plus one. And in this case, that gives us 59 decibels, which is closest to answer choice C. Now just realize that this isn't exact. They're not looking to trick you with this, but this is a little bit of a rounding error, right? Because this is true for anything in the range of between five and nine. So obviously, there's a difference between something being nine decibels away and being five decibels away. But it turns out to, to round off to about a one decibel increase. Would you like to have more solution videos like this one so you can pass the PE exam? Click the link in the description below to take your next step toward becoming a licensed professional engineer.